Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm doing something super fun that has been on my bucket list ever since I moved to Austin, and that is going to the Fredericksburg Wineries. We're celebrating one of my friend's birthdays today, so we got a bus, we're doing the whole thing. I think we're going to three wineries, so I thought it'd be fun to vlog. I've actually never been to a winery really before. Well, I went with my parents, but that was like when I was really young, so now I get to drink. <laughs> we're at the house, pre-gaming. Got some, uh, Look how freaking gorgeous this is. We're at Sonora, right, Melina? Anyone? Is this Sonora? I have no idea where we are. Where are we? I'm just showing up. Do we know where we are, Jackie? We're at Sonora Winery, and it's gonna be so good. We're gonna have a tasting. This is beautiful. It really is. It's really nice. and I are gonna get married. Oh, that would be so cute. Let's do it. This is stunning. The flowers and everything. We're praying that the rain doesn't come down on us. We are those people, and I'm really happy about it. This is so nice. I'll get the table. The wine barn. In the back Signor. Signor Vineyard. Alicia. Yes. There we go. Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna do this one. The mamas. Mama said there'd be days like this. He recommended it to me because I like sweet wines. So I think we're gonna split that. I'm also an influencer, but I I do all mine right here. It's yeah. Okay. Oh. You influence you influence me to get the the wine, right? Just for getting started. Thank you. What about the Rochambeau? Also. Super also for, a good for, for, Jackie said it was Sonora. Vineyards. Okay, so it was Signor, <laughs> and then he it's said it's Signor. Signor, but like so, we're here. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. same same thing. <laughs> What's this market over here? Did you go in? Um, yeah, it's like a store, so they have a bunch of stuff. You can buy cheese, wine. Oh, boy, that's cute. They have like home goods. That's cute. We're leaving Signor Vineyards. How drunk are you? One to ten. Five. I would say five. Five. I would say like maybe even a four. And I like drink a lot of four champagne, five. you know? I'm like, why? Why does this happen to me? But... This is our next location. This is what it's called. All stuff. We're gonna go find out if we can order food because I think this is the. I think what this is, is where it? we can get food and we're hungry. <laughs> is it a brewery or a winery? We don't know. We we'll don't. find out. I got a pretzel splitting with Liv. It was like seven bucks, and then this Riesling was like 13. Um, and then the last place we split a bottle, so it was like I want to say like 36, maybe it'd be even cheaper. And we split it between five people, so it was a little cheaper than buying it by the glass. And we just pre-gamed a bunch on the bus. So if you guys are interested in coming to Fredericksburg, that's how we did it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss mom, you don't do shit. Yeah. Fat ass, I'm really excited. Hey. 
for the day. It just, I feel like it just started, doesn't didn't it? Yeah, time to nap on the bus. It literally is. It's four o'clock and we're ready. We've been baking in the sun and we're ready for our nap. It's so time, it's time. We're gonna go back it's to going Austin. On our 70s bus. <laughs> That's how I want to be right now. <laughs> it's almost 7 p.m. and we got home around like 5.30, I think. Um, the bus ride was like an hour and 30 minutes, so on the way it kind of felt like a long time, but on the way back, you know your girl was passed out. Um, I definitely took a nap and that made it go a lot faster, but I'm so glad I got to experience like the wineries. I definitely think the first one was my favorite, the Signor Vineyards. The second one we went to was more of like a beer garden vibe. It was uh, definitely a lot more beer and um, they had like a pretzel and a sausage you could choose from. And I mean, I got Riesling. Uh, just because I wanted to stick with wine because I'm not like a beer gal. And then the third one, I didn't get anything at, but I tried Jackie's, I think it was like peach frozen sangria and it was pretty good, but it was definitely more of like a touristy place. It was definitely more lively, it actually had live music. Um, so it was more like fun, dancey vibes. Personally, I just like the first one better. So if I went back, I'd probably really only stick with that one or maybe like check if there's other um, like really chill wineries like that kind of thing but I'm glad we got to like get a taste for them all I actually switched out my camera this morning because um I wanted something more compact to bring in my purse and so I was vlogging with my old camera which is a Sony a5100 so that's why the quality is kind of like changed a little bit um but I kind of miss that camera it's just you know, there's so many great things about this camera that I'm using, which is the Sony a7 III. Right now my apartment is glowing and it makes me so sad because obviously we're leaving here in like a month or so and I'm gonna keep you guys updated with the apartment stuff. I'll probably post an update in the next week or so when things are official, but I did order some swatches online because I just kind of want to revamp and get some new furniture. I feel like I haven't really treated myself in a while. I was literally telling Ryan that I wanted to go on vacation to like Cancun and an all-inclusive and just chill for a week on the beach, but then it's hard to like spend your money on a vacation when you're so used to like your parents paying for it when you grew up, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a weird thing. Like they haven't really paid for a vacation in a while, I feel like. But still, now that I'm like an adult adult and like I have my own money, it's just so hard to like be like, okay, here, let's just spend like so much money on a vacation that's gonna last you a week. I feel like I'd rather just have something that I could hold on to for a while, you know? Part of me is like, okay, a vacation would be really nice. And then the other part of me is like, okay, but this piece of furniture is gonna be in my house like all the time, you know? Comment down below what you guys feel. Are you more of the experienced person? Would you rather just go on vacation or would you rather buy like a handbag or a piece of furniture or I don't even know what else, but anyway, so I wanted to show you guys just like the swatches that I got because I freaking love my couch. Like I adore it and it still is still pretty good, but I kind of want to switch it up, you know? So let's see what I got. All right, so I got some swatches from Crate and Barrel first. Okay, so this is like an interesting texture. I mean, it looks like similar to my couch right now. And then I got these two. It's hard because you can't really tell. This is more like a velvet almost, which I don't really like that. But I do like a more white color because our couch right now is an off-white. And I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Um, there's really nothing wrong with our couch. The base reason I want to look into a new couch is because the place we want to move into, like this specific unit, um, this couch is like left hand facing. But if we brought this couch into the new place, then it would be blocking like the door to go outside. So I think we're gonna have to switch it up and get either like a, not like a sectional, just get like a couch, like a sofa or um, get one that's like right hand facing. When I was looking at Pinterest for apartment decor, I found this company called Maiden Home and I'm just gonna post a picture of this chair. Please let me know what you guys think because I think this might be my treat to myself. I just don't know 
It is pretty freaking expensive for a chair. I won't even lie to you guys, but it's so beautiful. I feel like this could be like our accent piece. Like we'll get a sofa and then this chair. I've noticed that I really like just single chairs, especially when I'm editing, like when I was home. Um, we have these like orange recliner kind of chairs and they're just like so perfect to just sit and edit and like work and like really sit up, you know, instead of like being on the couch, like really just wanting to lay down, if that makes sense. Okay, these are the swatches for this chair. So we have this one. I don't know if you can really even see it. I'm not sure if it's focusing. This one is that trendy fabric. No, wait, is it? Yeah. Okay, so you know those CB2 chairs that literally every influencer has? It's in this texture called boucle, and it kind of looks like your couch is kind of already pilling, which is very interesting because <laughs> my couch is pilling right now, and you know, I don't love the look of it. And then we have just like this normal, just white, white, good texture. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, what? <laughs> like what texture is this? I don't even, okay, performance textured linen. And you know what's great about all of the couches that I was looking at is that they are performance textured so they don't really stain easily. They're like dirt resistant and everything like that. So that is another reason why I kind of want to get a new couch. But again, there's like nothing wrong with my couch. It's just that the layout of the new apartment that we might be moving into just doesn't fit it. So all good. I'm excited, but also like getting new furniture takes forever. So that's why I'm trying to like, you know, figure out where we're living so I can order it ASAP because a lot of couches are like, yeah, it'll get there in 22 weeks. Like what the hell, like 22 weeks? That's like almost half of my lease, you know? Like who knows if we're gonna stay there another year. But yeah, so that is the updates for that it's just so bright in my apartment right now like seriously I'm gonna be really really sad if this unit that we get doesn't have good lighting like this but I kind of have a feeling it's not gonna have this great of lighting because there's so many windows in here you know um, but like I said I'm gonna keep you guys updated and I'm really excited to be filming like moving content and just like apartment content and since I'm doing like more furniture shopping and just like kind of revamping um, like decor videos and everything like that because in the guest room my filming room or whatever that has like all of my college dorm decor so I haven't really decorated except for my bedroom and it was pretty minimal like I got a lot off of Facebook marketplace we got our headboard custom actually and I'll show you guys because I actually get some comments on this headboard which is so awesome because I love it so much this headboard is custom, so I literally just showed the guy the design I wanted. It's kind of this like herringbone design, and I think it's so pretty. He did it with post oak wood, and then I got these frames, I think from like Target or something, and I printed those prints out of like FedEx, I'm not even sure, something like that. And then these are actually from Facebook Marketplace, and when I moved them in here, I want to say I saw an opal house sticker on them so they're from Target maybe and then these lamps are from Target too. Since we were just talking about our couch I'll just show you guys really quick if you haven't seen it already. Seriously it is so comfortable. I feel like people always ask me is it actually comfortable? Yes like we always fall asleep on it. Me and Ryan can fit. Me and Ryan can cuddle on it. Um, it doesn't look super huge. It doesn't look super deep which I do want to get like a deeper couch while I'm getting a new couch but it is still pretty deep for like a couch this size. It's 110 inches that way. Um, and I think we're gonna look into getting something a tiny bit smaller just so it can really fit in our new unit. But like I said, I'm not really even sure what's going on with that. And then here's our coffee table. Got it on Facebook Marketplace. If you guys are furnishing a home or apartment, highly recommend to check Facebook Marketplace because you never know what you can find. Can we just appreciate the lighting in here? Oh my God. I mean, it's really not always like this. It's just a really sunny day. and. It has been gloomy for a while, so it sucks, but I also need to do a lot of organization, like in this pantry and just like in that back room in my closet, so I got a lot to do before we even really think about moving. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, and the room is kind of a mess because I'm about to film a Princess Polly haul. Last night, Ryan actually came home really late, like his flight got delayed a little bit. I picked him up at 10 and now he's out playing golf. I was supposed to have a grad session this morning, but I canceled it because it was 
said it was gonna rain. Last night when I looked, it was 80% this morning and it, I don't think it rained. I really don't think it rained like at all. So stupid, I hate this freaking weather. I can't get over it because literally like this is my busiest season and I'm just like so stressed out trying to like reschedule people and I really tried to give myself like the weekend for like a me time kind of thing, but now I'm gonna have to reschedule people to the weekends and it's just a little crazy. So I'm really, really hoping that everything clears up this week because um, our friends are coming in town on Thursday. So I don't want to have to like reschedule some grads to like the time that they're here. I mean, I can always do it like really early in the morning and when they're sleeping or something, but I don't really want to because <laughs> that's kind of like my vacation too. So we'll see about that. But yeah, I just curled my hair with like the wand like the og wand that you get at the mall or whatever actually i got mine from bombay hair but literally the same thing like the black just like stick and i really like how it turned out i feel like my hair is gonna last a little bit longer instead of doing those like beachy waves with like the actual iron clamp if that makes sense um so i wanted to just like switch it up and see what it would look like and I think I like this. I have so many random curlers that I get into phases of using so maybe this will be a new phase but I do need to clean up this little room and I'm just getting a little stressed not gonna lie because I feel like I need to sell a shitload of stuff that is in this room and just like in our apartment in general like I have a guitar that I literally haven't used since like really used since like maybe high school and it's just chilling in this room and I need to get rid of it because I'm not really gonna play guitar ever again I don't think like it was nice to have because at one point Ryan wanted to like learn how to play and you know I like to you know strum on it sometimes but it's just not a thing that I do often at all like I don't touch it for months so I need to get rid of that I need to get rid of like so much of this decor i think i said this yesterday when i was talking about the couch but i want to just like revamp my filming room the guest room and just get rid of like all this decor i mean i love the shelves though i'll show you guys hold on you're on my tripod this is the decor i'm talking about i am obsessed with those shelves so i might not sell those but just like kind of do some different decor on the shelves because i feel like that's just too kitty and I'm an adult now, and I'm just like kind of over the stars. Um, and I might keep that vase because I feel like that's cute. I'm also thinking I'm gonna get rid of that chair, which was like the best freaking Facebook Marketplace find. I really need to do like a TikTok on everything I got off of Facebook Marketplace. So basically, it was just this rat rattan is that what it's called? Rattan chair, and this is what it looks like. And then I just throw this little blanket on top to make it look a little bit um, better because this like cushion over here is just not cute at all. So that's what I do for that and it doesn't look bad. Um, and then for my guest office room thing, whatever, I think I'm gonna get rid of the bed and just get like a pullout couch because people don't really even visit us that often. So it's like, you know, I'd rather have the space to like film and do my stuff and just work in the office. It's almost 12.30, so I'm going to really quickly film this Princess Polly haul. And then the girl that I was supposed to photograph this morning, um, I think we're just going to start at 3. Because on the radar, it says it's not going to rain from like 3 to 5. This radar thing has been really helping me out. If you guys didn't know, like on the Weather Channel app, you can press this little button. And you can like see ahead of time. So the green is like the rain. And when you go further, there's no rain in Austin. So I've been really like banking on that to tell me what the heck is up because, oh, okay, now the hourly changed and it's not going to rain. But uh, it's so annoying and I'm really sad because it looks like it might rain like next week and when our, my friends are in town. And I just like don't love when like people come to see a city and then the city's like not at its best. I mean, obviously you can't change anything, but for example, the first time I went to Nashville was on New Year's Eve and it was like not the best weather um, and like things were closed on New Year's Day. So that was on me just like not going at the right time. But I'm actually going to a bachelorette party in September to Nashville, so hopefully I'll get a redo then. But I also wanted to do a boat day with them and I was like, you know, getting all my friends to come and everything like that. And then I was just like, honestly, like I think 
we should not do it because the weather looked so iffy. It was like 50%. I think it's now at 30 for next Saturday, but I was just like, eh, I don't want it to like be like 70 degrees and we're on a boat and we're freezing and it's miserable and we can't swim, you know? I feel like I'd rather just like push it back till later in the summer. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Need to film this haul. I think I'm gonna do it like a different way than usual because usually I just set up my tripod and like show you guys my outfit. But I really like, um, I did like an Abercrombie like my must-haves from Abercrombie and I just filmed it in my mirror like a little OTD kind of video so I think I'm gonna do it that way I feel like it's easier for me to talk that way it just like feels more natural so I think I'm gonna do that and let's get this stuff filmed I need some energy really quickly I need to put on some more lip stuff I've been really liking lip oils recently this one's actually from Merit and it's a newer brand at Sephora. I'm just going to put this on top of my lipstick. This is in the color All Natural or All Natural Roll. I don't know. <laughs> it's really pretty though. And it feels so good. Okay. I swear. Now I'm ready. I just finished filming my Princess Polly haul and I made it in time to have like a chill like 30 minutes before I have to go to the grad shoot. I think I should leave at like 2.30. But guess what? what the sky is blue the sky is blue there's no rain just want to thank god and let's keep it this way that's all i have to say like the weather oh my god the weather like let's see if it changed if any day this week is not raining on the forecast okay never mind tomorrow's 60 tuesday's 50 wednesday's 50 thursday's 50 friday's 50 you get the gist oh my god next not this coming Tuesday, but the next Tuesday is like the only sunny day. Ugh. Hopefully it like just clears up because I'm just like really worried about the grads because this weekend is their graduation at UT. So I want them to have their photos like by graduation or like a little after. I don't want to have to reschedule them to after graduation because I know they're trying to get their photos like ASAP and I feel that. I did want to edit a video, but I feel like 30 minutes isn't enough time. But honestly, I should just edit it because... I feel like whenever Ryan's here, I just want to chill. I want to spend time with him because obviously I haven't seen him in two weeks. So yesterday I was supposed to edit, but I was like, okay, this is so bad of me if I like even touch my computer. So we hung out and you know, I didn't work and I'm getting like a little bit better about that. Just like the work-life balance. I feel like that was like a big problem of mine is just like, I never knew when to stop. And I mean, I still don't to an extent, but I'm getting better, you know, baby steps. But I think I just need to like wake up earlier sometimes and just like get shit done. But yeah, I need to edit that video. Like, I actually have a lot of content to edit. I have my hair video because I just got my hair redone. I went to my friend Mariana. She killed it. I'm actually going to take her maternity photos in June and it's going to be epic. I just have a feeling because she's extra and I freaking love it. I think I'm going to change into something more like athletic so I can like be ready to sweat. It kind of sucks because I put on makeup and they did my hair. Um, so hopefully I don't really sweat that much, but I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit humid outside. So I'm just going to prepare myself to sweat. I just took Sophie out and that's why I'm out of breath, but I changed into a set active set. Kind of wanted to be a little bit more colorful. It's a Sunday. The sun's out. We need to celebrate with some color, um, but I'm just packing my little camera bag. I actually got this one on Amazon. It's pretty little and I have a bigger one, like a think tank one that's like really strong and fits like way more lenses but for grad shoots i really only use just two lenses so it's not like worth bringing a big um a big camera bag every time i shoot for like hours my back gets so like burnt out or like i don't know it just feels like i'm about to have back spasm at the end of the day and it does not feel good so the less amount of weight on my shoulders and like back the better and that's actually why i didn't really get into wedding photography well i tried to get into it and then the few times I did it, it was just really painful for me. <laughs> like a long eight hour day, nine hour day sometimes and you'd be standing up on your feet the whole day and you would have like a big chunky camera and like a couple lenses on you. It was just a lot and then also like 
it was on a Saturday, you know, so you couldn't really drink on a Friday because you didn't want to be hungover on a Saturday for the whole wedding. And then your whole Sunday is just like recovering <laughs> because it was just a long day on Saturday. So I just didn't want like all my weekends to be taken up since Ryan works a normal job and like we do fun things on the weekends and I really look forward to them. So I don't want to like live my life dreading the weekends, if that makes sense, especially because I already have a part-time job in the week. So that would be like just... A lot of work so I'm really glad I did make the decision not to photograph weddings anymore um, I mean at first I thought it was gonna be like the most stressful thing to photograph but it really wasn't that bad like that part of it wasn't that bad and it was kind of fun but just like the long days I cannot do that like I'm just not physically made for that so I'm just gonna be sticking to like shorter sessions, like grad sessions, obviously engagement sessions. I love to do couples, families, and all of that. I literally do everything except weddings, and I also do videography too, and I just chose to do or try out photography and not do like videography for weddings because I already knew that like the gimbal really makes my back hurt. So I definitely knew I couldn't do that, but I just thought photography would be different, but it's kind of not. It's kind of the same in terms of like physical work kind of you're, i mean you're still getting like different angles you're like moving your body around a lot so i just like wasn't used to it and i really need to look into getting a back brace for longer shoots because today i have like a two hour shoot and i think like a couple days this week or like in the past i've had like a two hour shoot then a one and a half hour shoot and then like a one hour like it's a lot it's about to get a little bit hotter here so i'm gonna be pretty much dead but I'm gonna go head over to UT's campus for this grad shoot and I'm hoping we're gonna get tacos tonight because I feel like every time Ryan is away I always crave tacos from our taco truck Los Troncas on the east side um and I try to like wait for him to come home so that we can get them together because I would think that he would want them I feel like we're always craving tacos when we get back from a trip so um I'm hoping we're gonna get that for dinner. It's basically a Sunday tradition at this point, but I will keep you guys updated after my grad shoot. It's 5.30, I just got done with my grad session and now I'm actually meeting Annie at Gloria's, which is one of my favorite places to eat. I actually went here and vlogged it literally right before I left for my work trip. Ryan went to play golf with her fiance and apparently they ended up at a pub. So we were like trying to plan like a double date, but then we were like, okay, let's just go to Gloria's ourselves because they are like not answering us. Um, so maybe they can just meet us at Gloria's. We're gonna get some chips and salsa and it's gonna be a good day because we're gonna sit out on the patio and it's just so nice outside. 